I have the pleasure of being in Washington, D.C. this afternoon. I'm sitting in the law offices of Steve Mahinka, who is parent of a senior student. Steve and Nancy Casper are parents of Alexa Mahinka. Uh, Steve is, is with the law office of Morgan Lewis, and he has very generously provided these facilities here today for us to host an alumni and parent gathering uh, to come together to, to celebrate Gettysburg College. We're down in Washington, D.C., as you can see, and the college is really very, very close, and a lot of uh, the students can take opportunities here for internships. There's events that the Eisenhower Institute of Gettysburg College puts on, and it's really a tremendous uh, uh, capability and opportunity for the students. It's a very unique uh, situation we have here. We're very fortunate, I think, to have uh, uh, a college, a great college like Gettysburg, only an hour and 20 minutes away from the nation's capital. I think the Eisenhower Institute is a very good example with offices down here and an office on campus. The Eisenhower Institute is a successor organization that honors Dwight David Eisenhower and now is part of Gettysburg College. We have an Eisenhower Institute undergraduate fellows experience. We are 12 Gettysburg College students from a variety of disciplines and academic majors are involved in study, research, and then presentation of topics in public policy of their own choosing. They work alongside the Harold G. Evans Eisenhower Professor of Leadership Studies, Professor Eileen Stillwagon. The EEI Fellows this year is an incredibly diverse group of students. Uh, they bring all kinds of academic interests. This is not for political science majors. This is for students from a wide variety of uh, majors across the curriculum. And it also brings a very diverse group of students in terms of their, uh, their background internationally. We have uh, some of our international students who are participating in the program this year, and they bring a uh, tremendous perspective to the program. Well, what we're finding is a wide range of students do have interest in public policy. I'm really delighted to say that our faculty have been discussing a public policy major and just recently approved a new major in public policy. This year we had a pilot program with Casey Pipes who served as a presidential speechwriter as well as serving on the Hill in the legislative branch. And what Casey brings is an opportunity to work with a group of students in the area of intersecting media and the political world. This sort of program, this expert in residence program, is something that really does enhance the value of a, of a Gettysburg education. We all know that Gettysburg education is firmly based in the academic experience, but there's a lot that goes beyond the classroom. And this sort of opportunity to interact with an individual who really does have an insider's view of what's going on in Washington, D.C. is just a tremendous addition to the student academic experience. Of course, Gettysburg's mission is to prepare students for active participation and leadership in a changing world. We think the opportunity to engage with public policy during their student time at Gettysburg is an important part of that preparation. Some of our students will do that through an academic program and now through a public policy major. Others of our students will, will have the opportunity to engage in dialogue in a co-curricular context with public policy makers and scholars. We do think these opportunities will prepare our students in a way that is really quite distinctive and will help them to take on that role in their community and in their profession as a leader.